Hello and welcome to a new location. We were in Kilmer Views Homestead. Travelled probably the longest we've travelled in the Air Peninsula for a long time. And we've arrived here at Iron Knob. Now Iron Knob is the birthplace of the Australian steel industry. It's massive. Now back in the, uh, the mid to late 1800s there was a bloke walking around here and he found some rock samples, iron ore. He thought I'm onto something here. Well what he couldn't see was iron knob. Now iron knob is consisting of around about 150 million tonnes of iron ore. So by the late 1800s every man and his dog was here with a pick and a shovel and hand loading little carts that were then sent down the hill to a waiting horse and cart and then it took two days from, to go from there to Port Augusta where then it was sent for processing after that. So later down the track they were going to have these steam shovels and all the rest so obviously things were going to get a little bit more upscale. We put in the railway. Now the railway went from Iron Knob through to Wyala. Now in the previous episodes you would have seen me at Wyala on Hummock Hill overlooking the port, um, the, uh, what were they, the iron ore stockpiles. Anyway, so obviously ore went from there to different places around Australia or the world. And there's also a processing plant there. And they were building steel for the rail, steel for ships. Also, I understand from here, um, from Iron Knob, 21% of the steel that went into the Sydney Harbour Bridge came from here, so pretty important. Anyway, so that was the steam shovels doing that. They then got replaced by electric shovels. Now an interesting little fact that every time the electric shovel went to take a scoop of iron ore, the lights in town here would dim. <laughs> so no, an important little town. It's about, I've uh, been over to the post office, spoke to the woman there. She said there's about 300 odd people here in Iron Knob. Uh, that probably includes a few dogs and a few cats as well. But um, no, on a serious note, she said the population was improving um, because of the costs of houses and rentals in uh, more popular areas. This place was becoming quite a, um, a sought after location for people to buy cheap places, um, commute to work, which isn't too far if you're in Wyala or Port, well, Port Augusta was a little too far to go. But no, it's not. No, it's not. So yeah, it is a popular little spot. Um, it's down from a pub though, it's, they're, 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 that's closed, um, but they have a golf course and a bowls and they alternate nights so that uh, people can get meals and drinks and things like that and also play games and socialise. Um, and right here they supply a, an amazing little um, camping area, it's a donation camp, it's a fantastic little, well there's a kitchen that needs a little bit of attention, but of course your donations will help that. The toilets need a little bit of attention and that's been sorted. They're about ready to get the tick on the brand new toilets and shower facilities. So there we have it. We are oh, and further up the road, there was the museum and the information center. Great little place to go. The museum, um, really, really interesting with the history. Um, and you can see a nice little um, six minute DVD on the um, Iron Knob. And we were going to be there for a um, Iron Knob um, mining tour, but um, I don't know whether you can see behind, but the wind has been pretty bad and the rain's been bad, so no tours can take place. So we missed out on that. So I'm going to have a little walk around, show you some of the uh, little sites here of um, the campground, and then hopefully on the way out, I'll get to, to take a photo and show you the, um, the one of the electric shovels. I think that we're um, uh, retired out here, and of course they're now taken over by hydraulic or diesel, um, their own electric shovels themselves and, and big dump trucks and things these days around here so there's a nice little tribute of um, one called the Marion out there so we'll catch up with that as we leave. Thank you for listening. There you go, I don't know how clear this is going to come through with all the wind that's out here but uh, behind me, not of its former glory because Iron Knob
knob. Facility is just basic in the background. Nice big flat parking area. Hey, good morning. It was a bit of a restless night. It was pretty windy and uh, rainy there last night, but uh, we got through it. And also really neat to hear some bomb blasts going off this in the morning too. So uh, as promised, I said we'll uh, come out here and have a look at the old shovel. So this is the Marion. It was uh, number seven shovel, which probably equates to how many shovels there were. This is the electric shovel. Um, it was commissioned in June 1965, uh, cost of $38,000, and it was taken out of service in 1981, and it dug more than 20 million tons. The bucket alone was uh, capable of taking 18 tons. So there it is, and the other thing I found out too, is that back behind me is of course the iron knob, and that was 150 odd metres higher than it is right now. So a uh, pretty incredible amount of work going on. Right, moving on. This is my country, my damn country. Give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country. And it don't mean a thing if you don't pass the test. If you ain't never cheated or been cheated on, then take off your boots, you rhinestone fraud. <laughs> school memories this is my country my damn country give me my country you can keep the rest this is my country my damn country and it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test if you ain't never spent a single night in jail then get another job and i'll see you in hell i'm drawn like a moth through the neon lights i need a bucket of beer and someone to fight don't call yourself country if your music is shitty or this carolina boy will take you down to fifth city you know who you are i ain't gonna name names just keep your hands off my country and go back from where you came my country my damn country give me my country you can keep the rest this is my country my damn country and it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test if you ain't never done something you regret well then i'm proud of you and now get <laughs> That honky down girl, country like towns, country like Travis. I'm a country fried junkie with a bad habit. Country like Chris, country like Gretchen. If you ain't good, you country, then get out of the kitchen. I'm a country like Hank. 